and I'm Uncle Karen. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the most extra iOS 14 homepage screen that you've ever seen. If you guys can't already tell by the intro and the title, I'm going to be making my homepage into a Studio Ghibli theme. I love Studio Ghibli. I've watched it since I was a kid and it just reminds me of the nostalgic times that I spent spent in Indonesia when I was a child so I just wanted to bring that into my phone so I can have it with me 24 7 because why not you know I say this is extra because I literally customized every single icon that you guys are about to see in my home screen I'm a sucker for good design so I didn't want to just replace it with random Google images I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly in this video how I made those icons so you guys can replace it with whatever image that you guys want but if you don't want to do that if it's too much work because because it sure was a lot of work. I linked all of the icons that I created in a Google Drive folder down below. Feel free to check them out, use it in your own phone. I mean, these images were not really mine to begin with. I got them from Google Images, so feel free to use them. But if you want, screenshot them and tag me on my Instagram. I'd love to see them. And so yeah, I'm super excited about this update, super excited to customize my phone screen. So without further ado, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna angle this camera a little bit so you guys can see exactly what my screen is happening. Oh, you can see my hydrofloss. I have my laptop over here, so I'll be showing you guys exactly what I'm doing. So this is what my home screen looks like at the moment. It's pretty bare, there's nothing really happening. So the first thing that you wanna do is to figure out what the background of your phone is gonna be because I feel like that sets the entire theme so I'm gonna go onto Pinterest and find a Studio Ghibli wallpaper and we're gonna find a Studio Ghibli background so as you can see I've, I searched it previously and then you could just find one that you like the one that I downloaded is this one right here Let's see if I can find it. These are all really nice. You can just pick any one, to be honest. So yeah, so if you find one that you like, all you have to do is click the three dots down there and click on download image and your image should show up. So this is the original image. This was the same image, but I brightened it up a little bit because this was looking a little dark, so you can do that too. So I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna use the one that I downloaded previously. So this is gonna be my home screen. Okay, so once you have your background, what you wanna do is plan out what your home page is gonna be like this is what I wrote down in my journal so I have my home page my work and then my YouTube work and then my social slash fun section so that's basically the four pages that I want in my phone the reason why I suggest planning it out first is because then you'll know which icons that you want to customize because you don't want to go customizing so many icons and then end up not putting half of those on your home page because then your work will all be wasted so then after that we hop on over to our laptop I have my laptop right here and we're gonna begin the process of customizing the icons it's honestly really fun it's just a bit tedious but you know my Photoshop skills did kind of improve I want to say so there's a win all right so first we're gonna go to Google images and we're gonna look up the image of the icon that we want to customize so let's customize the Twitter icon I feel like that's a good icon to customize and also because I haven't customized it yet so you just type in Twitter app icon or something and then it'll show up here just a note, it's okay if the image is square like this because once you set it to your home page icon, it'll just round out the corners for you automatically. Let's mess around with this one so you guys can see how it'll actually look like as a home screen icon. So you just save the image and you save it in your folder thing, Twitter icon. Okay, so once you save that, then you go to Google Images again and you type in the Studio Ghibli picture that you wanna use in your icon. Oh, it's so beautiful, look at that. You can choose any one. Maybe we can use, we can use this one maybe? This one's really pretty. So once you find the image that you like, you click on it, you look at it here in the preview, you right click and you just say copy image. You don't have to save it into your laptop. Once you have that, let's go into our Photoshop. <laughs> you can see there's a lot of icons, the one that I customized already. But you can just open the Twitter icon that we just saved. So now this is where the fun part comes in. You have to design it a little bit. Do you want the background to be the Studio Ghibli image or do you want the bird? Because this logo isn't super heavy in the focus, like the bird is kind of small and the background is kind of huge, I would want to use the background as the Studio Ghibli image, but 
you can do whatever you want and also because of the wallpaper that I chose I felt like a pale yellow would look kind of cool with the colors kind of cute you know because I love pastels so I also want to make the bird a yellow color as well so first I want to customize the bird first before we go around changing the background so first I'm gonna select the area that I don't want to make transparent and so that's the blue background so using this quick selection tool right here and then once you have it selected you're gonna click on select and mask and there you have it you have a transparent background the way I check this view is here you can just change the view however you want but I did this one on layers so then I output to new layer and you click on OK and then the original layer I just delete so now we just have this one layer with a transparent bird. So now we use a yellow rectangle. So I draw the rectangle here, make sure, making sure that it covers the logo, and then I change the color. You can change the color to whatever you want. See, you can, yep. But I kind of memorized the hex code for the color that I want already, which is FCF4BB, and it's this pale yellow color. So I just do that and then I move the rectangle below my first layer so now it shows as a yellow bird. So next we want to change the blue background to the Studio Ghibli background. So now I'm going to select all of the blue background again like how we did before and then you're going to want to go up to here in the edit section and you're going to click on paste special and paste into because we already copied the studio ghibli image from google images if you guys remember so all you have to do is paste into now it doesn't show up because the layer is right now below the twitter icon so you just want to move it up so that it's above it and there's your image and all you have to do is just scale it so it covers the entire icon and there's your twitter icon and we did it see super super easy so after that you just file click on file export quick export as png um you can just put it into a folder and click on save and there's your icon so now you basically do that for all the icons that you want to customize super tedious but i mean it's a customized icon so it'll look good after you made all of your icons you're gonna want to have them in your camera roll if you have a mac and you have an iphone all you have to do is just airdrop all of the icons that you created or if you have a mac you can email them to yourself just have it in your camera roll basically okay so now back to our home screen and our iphones okay so the first step that you want to do is change the background of your home screen so let's go to photos and find the image that we saved earlier from pinterest i have it right here and then you just set it as your wallpaper okay so the next step after that is also kind of tedious but also kind of satisfying at the same time is that you're gonna want to move all of your apps to the app library so that your entire phone is clean i actually really love the app library feature because you can just move apps from your home screen but you're not exactly deleting the app which is awesome all right our home screen is empty Dude, this is so weird. I've never had a phone like this. There's literally nothing on my home screen. So now we're gonna change the icon backgrounds. So first we're gonna go to the shortcuts app that is built in into app. And don't really care about this, what's happening here. But you're gonna click on the plus button at the top right corner in order to create a new shortcut and you just add. And then you click on scripting. And then you want to click this first one which is open app and then you click on choose to find the app that you're going to open so our example was twitter right so you just look up twitter there it is and you click on next and then you name the shortcut and you click on done so now you've created that shortcut next you want to click on that three button thing and then once you open it you're going to click on the three button thing again and you're going to click on add to home screen and here we're going to change the icon so hold that icon next to the label and click on choose photo and locate the icon the sort of icon that you made and click on choose and add add and you click on done and there you have it you have twitter on your home screen so that's essentially what you want to do for the rest of your icons so see you when i do all of those two hours later so i finished making all of the icons 
<laughs> there are so many icons. Took me a good while, but I'm done. Okay, so now we're going to make the widgets. So this is when you want to consult your design again and find which widgets that you're going to use. So I'm going to be showing you guys the three widget apps that I use, which are Widget Smith color widgets and photo widget and then there's also other apps that have their own widgets for example one of them is affirmations which i'm also going to use so let's get started so the first one that i'm going to show you guys is to make a calendar because as you guys can see from my first panel that i'm going to have a calendar that spans at the top so i'm going to be using widget smith for that so open up your widget smith app and then there's different types there's a small widget medium widget and large widget but the one that i'm going to use is medium because that's the one that's going to span across the page so i already kind of made a calendar one but i want to change this up so let's customize it and you know there's a lot of different styles and stuff that you can put but for this one i'm going to be using the day this one this one you can also change the font for example we can do sf mono i like that one too so let's try out that one and then the tint color you can also change it to whatever you want these are all pretty cute um the maroon one is really cute okay let's try that one and then background color i'm just gonna leave it at white but they also have a bunch of different colors that you can choose as you guys can see okay and once you're done you're gonna just hit save on your home page or wherever you want to put the widget you just hold the screen to toggle it click on the plus sign top left corner widget smith medium widget add widget and it should be there you tap on it to change it so i want the calendar the one that we just did oh the red is actually that doesn't really match with the theme so you can always go back in and edit it i think i'll just change the font because the red is just not cutting it for me so let's change the color to black and that should be it save it and it should show up there you go that looks better so now i'm gonna use photo widget because that is the widget to add in images and put it on your home screen there's a totoro one that i already put in there that's it this sim this widget is actually pretty simple because it just displays photos the third one is color widget a lot of people use this i've seen it in a lot of youtube videos i want to use this yellow one this orange one looks pretty cool so you can just click on it and then edit widget and then you can choose which one that you want and you can change the background photo down here you could choose it to that one if you want see and it looks really cute and then the next one that i want to show you guys is affirmations affirmations is really cute it shows you like daily quotes so yeah this is the affirmations one you can add a middle one or a bigger one or a small one we can add a middle one probably and there you go there it is the moments of happiness we enjoy take us by surprise it is not that we seize them but that they seize us very wise all right so that's basically all of the widgets that i'm going to be using and because you have your widgets and all of your home screen icons all you have to do is rearrange them so let's do that moments later okay after several hours i think i'm done with customizing my home page so this is what it looks like That is my phone and as you can see the battery on my phone is running out because I've been working on this all day but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out I think it looks super good and super studio ghibli that being said thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed I definitely enjoyed it and I'm very happy to have that in my phone now like i said before all of the icons that i customized i've uploaded them onto a google drive folder so you can also use them if you want screenshot it if you end up using them and let me know what layouts you guys come up with thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye this is so extra why am i even doing